Here's the Congress clarification. Khadge saying that this was not meant for Prime Minister Modi. Listen to this. Bharati Janta Party, Adu Vande Na Pantandra, how it then get? Adak niu inga salpa. You know the neck nor the Pantandra. Ultimately, Adu death the Panta hell. Auri gele le, Auri gele le. Ya kandre na yehin matle ne. Vayakti ko aagi na yari ko hela ne villa. Vayakti yigu hela ne. Vayakti ko aagi yar bage na na suye la. Adar nimma nimma idolazhi ne dhe. Adu vandu visadangi dhe. A idolazhi ne support mar dhe. Na net note dhe na dhe. Death is certain. If you support this ideology, death is certain. But in his clarification, Madhavi says not meant for Prime Minister Modi. The BJP is stalling it. Congress is desperation. The BJP is sure to attack the Congress. There's no two ways about it. They will surely defend their own party, uh, their party's ideology, and of course the image of the Prime Minister. But uh, while Mr. Khargey would perhaps, uh, uh, you know, under the uh, uh, you know the uh, criticism that he would be facing for attacking the PM and comparing him to a venomous snake, which he had made in that uh, speech in Gadag, certainly of course uh, now taking a little bit of a step back saying that he never meant the Prime Minister that he was referring only to the BJP and the BJP's ideology by saying that if you sample that ideology you will drop dead. Now very clearly somewhere or the other uh, Mr. Kharge's statement that was made uh, on stage over there on the campaign trail and what he's clarifying now there is some amount of difference between the two and perhaps only Mr. Kharge can uh, explain whether that was a slip of the tongue whether he did not mean to say what he said because in the earlier video he specifically referring to the Prime Minister as a poisonous snake and there's no taking away from that. Yes, uh, Mr. Kharge perhaps uh, faced under uh, a lot of uh, pressure, a lot of criticism would have perhaps wanted to withdraw the statement but, uh, uh, you know, saying that he never compared the Prime Minister to a poisonous snake perhaps would not be uh, factually uh, correct at the moment. This is, this is not the first instance of Gali politics. Uh, we've seen this in the past. We've seen this even during the Gujarat uh, election campaign. So there's nothing new in this with, uh, you know, as we go closer to the date of voting Deepak, one was, uh, you know, kind of expecting this. Yes, uh, you know, we've heard a statement uh, comparing the Prime Minister to Ravan at that point in time as well. Uh, you know, there were clarifications that came in, Pranesh, from the Congress party uh, that it was not directly uh, meant at him and uh, what they wanted to say was something different. Now, uh, why make these choice of words if they actually want to clarify it later? Especially, there's been a concentrated effort by the Congress party to make this a local election, not make it about the Prime Minister. But it uh, seems like, you know, these sort of statements will uh, probably do harm to the Congress party and also it will deviate them from their plan because they wanted to make it a local election, fought on local leadership, local faces. Uh, you know, they've kept uh, the Prime Minister's issues away uh, predominantly. Uh, but uh, here, once again, it looks like, uh, you know, it's a uh, it's a moment where the Congress party will probably okay. rethink Let, and revisit get, and Let's uh, get well. someone who knows a thing or two about uh, how election campaigns are run and uh, perceived. Mr. R. Rajdopalan joining us. Mr. Rajdopalan, the Prime Minister has made the elections about graft. In term for politics, BJP has excelled that, uh, you know, narrative. Whether it is Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha or for that matter, state assembly. Whichever, like Uttar Pradesh, BJP is winning again and again and again. 